Well, I want to say hello to all my friends, colleagues, and associates today. My name is Michael Whitman. I am the charman of the board of Blue Sky Biochar. And what I want to do today is I want to share with you mostly my experiences working with wood vinegars, particularly the vinegar that I use, which is bamboo vinegar. This is it right here, this beautiful amber-colored material. It has a wonderful, oh, a fantastic smoky aroma. I kind of like it a lot. And it has many different uses, and we're going to discuss those uses and how to use it. We're also going to discuss the origins of wood vinegars. So, very simply put, wood vinegar is liquid smoke. Now, it is an acidic acid, but unlike apple cider vinegar or white vinegar, which are also acidic acids, these are very simple acidic acids that are fermented. The wood vinegars are pyrolytic. They're made from smoke, basically condensing smoke. So, in the work I've done over the years, I've been studying fire and fire's effect on the ecosystem. And many of us know that fire is very essential to the ecosystem. So in the natural world and out there in the wilderness, when a fire occurs, several things happen. First, the fire cleans up ex excess, excess amount of plants. Only so many plants and trees can live per acre, and fire is nature's way of balancing that out. Too many trees, too many plants per acre, and they're all gonna have issues when it comes to drought because there's only so much water on the natural scale. Plants and trees, many of them, require fire to propagate their seeds. Fire leaves the ash and char behind, and very slowly it recycles into the soil. As much as the fire is important, the smoke from the fire is as important as the fire, because that smoke covers and inundates everything in the path, and it leaves that sticky residue behind, and then it condenses into wood vinegar protects plants and trees from disease and pests, and because of the hundreds of organic compounds, it actually stimulates growth and stimulates photosynthesis. Plants and trees that go through fire have far greater advantage than those that don't. Now, of course, we don't want our homes and businesses to burn down, so what we do is we mimic nature by creating biochar in a clean way and utilizing it in our urban areas, in our soils, just like the fire would, and we also mimic the making of this wood vinegar from the same process that we make the biochar and we make it into this liquid and then we spray it on our plants or use it in other, other fashions to mimic nature again without having the smoke inundating our urban areas and our homes and our businesses. So wood vinegars are made from many different sources. We can make them from softwoods, we can make them from hardwoods, from coconut shell, other nut shells, many different sources that we can make biochar from, we can make wood vinegar from. However, in my studies, I have found that bamboo vinegar is the superior of all of the wood vinegars. And the main reason for this is that hardwoods and softwoods have lots of tars, terps, oils, that need to be cleaned out of the wood vinegar before we actually want to use it. They're very low in silica. Bamboo, on the other hand, is very high in silica. And boy, we want as much silica as we can get. And yet we also have very little tars, terps, oils, and other ingredients or volatile organic compounds in the bamboo vinegar. So it makes a cleaner wood vinegar. So I'm gonna to refer to everything today from this moment on as bamboo vinegar, even though it is just one of the many different wood vinegars available. Now this particular wood vinegar we're using is made by a company called Seek and they have been doing it for a great many years. They have a fully organic, sustainable, regenerative source of this bamboo. They don't have to cut forests down to do this. So it's all done in a very sustainable, regenerative way. And they have been making it for many years. It's very consistent, very high quality. In fact, this is the only of all the wood vinegars in the United States that actually has a organic certification by the California Department of Food and Agriculture. No one else has really, at this point, been able to certify any of the wood vinegars made in America at this point. And it is an acidic acid. It starts out in its raw form at anywhere from 2.7 to 3.1 pH. It's pretty acidic. However, we never use it in its full strength, or very rarely do we ever use it in full strength. We're always diluting it. 
and the dilution rates are anywhere from 1 to 1,000 down to 1 to 50. And there are various uses in between that we use it for. Now, if we think about it, remember that during the fire, many plants and trees need the fire to propagate their seeds. And as those seeds are propagating and popping out, they're getting covered with the smoke and it's condensing into the vinegar. This is a great advantage in the amount of seeds that will germinate is a very high percentage. In fact, probably all of them will germinate. Now, I've been doing many different uh, plants over the years. I have a big garden here. And I'm gonna start off with garlic. I love growing garlic. I hope you all do too. Garlic is wonderful and easy to grow. Now, when I first learned, started learning about growing garlic, I was always told to take the garlic cloves and soak them for a few minutes in an ordinary alcohol to clean off any pathogens on the outside of the, the clove. And it works okay. You basically soak it for 10 minutes, drain it off, let it dry for a while, and then immediately plant your garlic. But for the last couple of years, I've been doing it with water and bamboo vinegar in a dilution of one part or one ounce of bamboo vinegar to one gallon of water. And I just soak the cloves for a little bit, drain it off, and then plant them immediately. I don't need to let them dry. I'm finding that all of the garlic cloves germinate. And they germinate and come up at a much faster rate than ever before, much healthier rate than ever before. So using bamboo vinegar for germinating seeds is ideal, and this is any kind of seed. Now there are different ways that we can do this and different ways people do their germination. Sometimes people do it between a couple of paper towels. Sometimes they'll do it in little cups with soil in it, like this. Sometimes they'll use a little rock wool where you'll put the seed inside there. That's another method. Some people use these little coconut core circles where they put the seed in there and then you wet it with the water or hydrate it. So what I recommend is adding bamboo vinegar to that hydrate or that water that you will be using to wet down your seeds. The dilution rate starts at four milliliters per gallon of water. Now, four milliliters is not an awful lot. Here's a pipette, and four is right here. So it's only that much per a whole gallon. That's the starting rate. On larger seeds, I tend to make it a little more, power, a little more potent, a little more concentrated. So I sometimes go up to 25 milliliters per gallon. That's what I use for my garlic and anywhere in between. So we provide you with a guideline, but one thing I like, I'd like to say now is that when you're using wood vinegar, you're always experimenting. You can't really overuse it unless you're using it straight. Otherwise, you can vary it back and forth and check your results and find your right sweet spot for it. So this little pipette helps me to accurately measure it out. By the way, the cap over the bottle has a secondary cap and that's also a measuring cup and when you purchase it from us we have a pipette a disposable or plastic pipette in here along with it along with the instruction sheet I recommend you follow the instruction sheet over the bottle I wrote the instruction sheet it's much more detailed and gives you much more information about the vinegar than the bottle itself so we start out at four milliliters per gallon. So here's a gallon of water. And basically we're gonna put this pipette in here and pull up four milliliters. And that's our starting point for most seeds. Then we take that liquid, we shake it up a little bit. And now this is what we're gonna hydrate into our containers of either soil, rock wool, or these little coconut core seed starters, or if you're starting your seeds directly and sowing them into the ground, then we would take this liquid and just pour it over there a little bit, and you only have to do that once. I've had many people over the, over the last couple of years who have used it for seeding and have found incredible results. We can even get old seeds to germinate with this bamboo vinegar where it wouldn't normally. So there's a lot of great advantages using it for germinating your seeds. So the next part of it we're going to talk about is using it as a pest control agent. Now bamboo vinegar and wood vinegars in general are really not considered pesticides so much because they don't wipe out the colony like a nuclear bomb that you would use harsh chemical products to do. 
but it drives away the pests. They do not like the smell of the smoke and it drives them completely away. So it's more of a preventative than it is really more of a pesticide. So we use it for aphids, mites, white fly, mealybugs, a whole range of different critters that are what we would call pests. We want to use it in a spray form. So I use various kinds of sprayers. You can use a simple hand sprayer like this, a little bit nicer one where you can pump up the spray and then just use it on a regular basis. Any type of spray system you have will work fine. So when we're spraying this bamboo vinegar with water onto many certain kinds of plants which have high surface tension to them, meaning that if you spray the water or the bamboo vinegar and water on, they, some of the leaves, they'll beat up and just roll right off. That's where we use a surfactant. Surfactant breaks surface tension. You can use simple surfactants, like sometimes I've used this Dr. Bronner's Sal Suds. It's just a simple organic soap, mixing a teaspoon per gallon in with the bamboo vinegar into the water. What it does is, it breaks the surface tension on the leaf and allows the material to more evenly coat and stay there. Now, I have recently found something far superior to using a soap, and we're going to get into it a little later. I'll just mention it now. It's called Hyperdrive. It's an amazing new scientific breakthrough that is basically a very sophisticated surfactant slash catalyst, which allows us to have the product not only coat the leaf better and stay better, but also penetrate into the cell structure of the plant. Now, when I first heard about this, I said, wait a minute, that doesn't exist. There's nothing that brings it into the cell structure, but hyperdrive does. And we're gonna get into that a little bit later. So basically, we're gonna mix it with a surfactant of some sort to get it to go more evenly. Now, there are three basic types of plant characteristics. C4, C3, and CAM. CAM are the succulents and cacti. And what makes them different is the way they absorb materials through their, through their uh, cell structure and also their surface tension and the way they photosynthesize. Most of the plants we'll be dealing with are C3. C4 plants tend to have a higher surface tension on their surface of the leaves and they require a little bit more surfactant to be able to evenly coat that leaf and stay on there. So when we're using it for funguses, it's fantastic for powdery mildew. We have been testing it with Phytophthora, Fusarium, and other really problematic funguses, both on root stem and on leaf. And we're getting great success with it. Now, one thing I wanna make sure you understand is normal foliar applications, we're spraying a lot of material on that plant to hope some will stick and enter. When you're using hyperdrive in with the bamboo vinegar, your liquid fertilizer, or your biological compost tea, you're only gonna be using a very fine mist and a very small amount because it's like an IV. It gets it directly in the cell structure. So you're gonna be using a far smaller amount of material. This is great for cost effectiveness. Now, in general, bamboo vinegar and wood vinegars are extremely cost effective. This one liter bottle will make up to hundreds of gallons of material, so you can use it and it has a very long shelf life, and you can use it in all the different applications we've, we've discussed so far today. There are even more, but this is enough for today. Basically, go to our website, blueskybiochar.com. We're going to provide you with a special discount. So anybody who orders any of our products, if you put into the discount code bamboo vinegar, you'll get 10% off and we'll send you a laminated instruction sheet for each of the products that you order, whether it's uh, hyperdrive or bamboo vinegar. It's nice having a laminated sheet because then when you take it outside, it doesn't get all messed up. It lasts for a long time and you can continually refer to the protocol and instructions for the different applications that you would use these products for.